Hey everybody, uh, DJ for here. Um, hold on a second, I know it's dark. Uh, this should help, but um, hold on. Uh, damn. Come on, you bastard. Uh, Alright, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, that helps. Alright. Um, hey everybody, DJ for here. Um, as some of you know, my newest video, besides this one, was a official trailer for Code the Echo Evolution, the supposed either fifth season or restart to the series. And it's not a reboot, though. It is a sequel to the original Code the Echo series, the fourth season, namely. So, really, we just refer to this as a fifth season, because calling it anything else just makes it sound like it's a reboot of the series, in which it isn't. It's a continuation. But... An idea was suggested to me, the comment's not there anymore, I don't know why, but... I have been thinking about this all day, and I finally came to a decision that when we here in America get foot get, and actually get episodes of the show, regardless if they're in French or not, I am going to do an abridged series of Code Vehicle Evolution, in addition to still doing my other abridged series, God damn it. So, uh, I'm hoping that the cast I currently have for the Code the Oko Bridge series will, uh, come on over and give me a hand with the Evolution series, but, uh, again, this is still extremely very early on in development. I mean, the Code the Oko Evolution hasn't even aired in France yet, and I don't plan on waiting until 2014 when we get an English version of it. I'm not saying it's going to be that long. I'm just saying that I don't anticipate it to come to America before 2000, before the end of 2013, okay? I just really don't anticipate that. Just because I have a gut feeling. And to actually voice my opinion, in terms of what I would like to have them do in, for an American thing, what I want them to just redub the original thing, or just completely remake it with American actors... I would actually prefer if they just redubbed it because if Cartoon Network's the one making the live action stuff, they will rape it. Car current Cartoon Network fucking sucks. Pre two thousand eight Cartoon Network was okay. Pre two thousand seven Cartoon Network was awesome. Cartoon Network is literally digging its own grave, and Nickelodeon is starting to follow. Okay, the current cartoons of today, nowadays, suck. And the live-action shows of nowadays are going down the shitter. You know, it's only the ones on all the old, more adult channels that are awesome. But, I mean, like, probably the last awesome live-action TV show was iCarly in the beginning. I'm talking live-action, not animation. The Legend of Korra is bringing... Has brought Nickelodeon back, for, has brought Nickelodeon out of the grave, in my opinion. And if SpongeBob can stop being so freaking stupid, it might actually. Like, in the original level, I don't like how they're making it more stupid than it used to be. It's kind of just like, hey, let's just make every character in a show stupid and people will like it. No, that, that doesn't make a show. That, that That's a redundant and a stupid, stereotypical thing of a cartoon, which doesn't need to be done 5,000 times. But that's my opinion. That's why I watch. All the teen, all the older shows for older people, old, quote unquote, teenagers and adults, like uh, Priest and Kutcher, Two and a Half Men, uh, Two Broke Girls, Mike and Molly, and all those Hawaii Five O. Eh, just an assortment, but uh, I just am quite disgusted with Cartoon Network and how far it's fallen from. I mean, Cartoon Network used to be an awesome channel with awesome shows, and it's just... <sighs> I'm getting a little off topic here, but... I mean... Watch the shows they have now. They're nothing compared to Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Laboratory and Johnny Bravo and Courage the Cowardly Dog and Cold Lioka, which, yes, 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 I know Cold Lioka, but Cold Lioka was awesome. That was the only reason I watched Maguzi. Then you had, um... Yes, I'm going to say this. Totally Spies. That was actually a good show. Uh, uh, you had Camp Lazlo. That wasn't half bad. That was actually, I think, from the same guy that made Spongebob. I think. But, uh... Then you had, you no know, Toonami. That was freaking epic. 
That actually gave, that actually is what got me into anime. But, uh, and I think everyone can be in agreement that Cartoon Network isn't what it used to be. It's really just, it's, it, it flat out sucks. God damn it. It flat out sucks. Nowadays. So, again, I'm very iffy about letting Cartoon Network reshoot the whole thing rather than just redub it. Because if they redubbed it, they had to follow the script so the words match the lips so it's not... You know, like all those rushed Godzilla direct... You know, those, like, the older dub versions of Godzilla movies here in America were rushed. So, of course, the lip syncing is terrible, but the new re-releases are awesome because they actually match the lips. For the most part. But, um... See, Cartoon Network will be forced to follow the script and just kind of say what they're saying in an English translation, for the most part. Which would work. I mean, it would work. But, um... In terms of them just redoing the whole thing, I'm very, very, uh, very against that. Unless they will give it the justice it deserves and not make it for six-year-olds. Because, let's face it, Kopioko isn't made for six-year-olds. It does deal with much more mature topics. I have a feeling this season's going to be like Legend of Korra in contrast to the original Avatar. Legend of Korra was a much darker approach than Avatar was. Legend of Korra tried to appeal to a much older audience, and... I hope this is what Kodioko does, so Cartoon Network better take that seriously. <sighs> but that's my opinion. And you can say whatever you want against it or for it, I don't really care. I'm just saying I liked pre-2008 Cartoon Network, and... I used to watch it all the time, but now I can only watch Nickelodeon when it comes to... cartoons. That's just about it. So, um, yes, I'm going to do an abridged series on Kodioko Evolution. But again, very early in development. I have a lot to work with and still work on because, let's face it, Kodioko Evolution still has a lot to work on. And then i got to wait till I can actually get footage of the show, which, regardless if it's in French or not, as soon as I can get my hands on footage, I will take it and I'll use it to make the show. But, again, I very don't know what I'm going to do yet about the live-action stuff. I might just find a way to cut it with the I don't know. Like I said, I don't know yet. I just know I want to do it before someone else does it. Because I have the ability to. And it will not suck like the beginning of my last Code of the Oak series, which has finally dug itself out of its own grave. Because, let's face it, when my Code of the series first started, it dug its own grave immediately. And then I had spent the whole last, like, 12 episodes digging it back out of its own grave. And now it's awesome. But, um... Yeah, so, uh, expect my, um, review of the movie Legend out this week in addition to the conclusion to my live-action stuff for my movie reviews. And, uh, yeah, expect that out this week, and then, um, once that's done, I'm gonna really kick it up a notch with Chronicles of Godzilla, and then we'll have episode 13 of Code the Bridget by then. Which might actually happen first if I get all the lines and all that, but whatever. Just taking it one step at a time. So, this is DJ Fu. Rate, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Peace out.